Hello, Dark Paper Productions here with another FX Home tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a cloning scene. So let's begin. First, you need to have a video. In the video, you need to have your subject in two different places. You're going to need to have the video on a tripod or some kind of flat surface that will keep the video camera still through the entire shot. You also need to make sure that your light source does not change during the video whatsoever or anything that is not supposed to change. You need to make sure that it is all the same throughout the entire video. This is an example video. You also have to have the you also have to have the cuts just like this where it cuts to the next part. So let's begin. Let's open up our FX Home product. This works in any FX Home product that works with video. When I say that, I mean FX Lab, Composite Lab, or Vision Lab. Now that your FX Home product is open, we're going to click Select Movie. Now we're going to locate our video file and select your settings. Okay, now that your video file is open, we are going to actually delete the video file from here. Now we're going to go back to the media tab, and we're going to get the start, and then we're going to find where the cut happens. Now we're going to use these buttons to skip to the exact frame that the cut happens on. On the last frame before the cut, you're going to click out frame and then drag the video in. Now that that's done, we're going to go back to media, go to the next frame to where the first frame is that of the starting of the cut. Click in frame, now go to the end of the video and click out frame. Now drag that on as well. Make sure you're on the first frame and now you're going to have a very bright video with ghosts. Yay, ghosts. Now, if you really, like want ghost clones, which I'm assuming you don't, then you can stop the video right now. But I'm assuming you don't want ghost clones, so we're going to continue. I'm going to get a slice tool, and I'm going to slice the video so that it fits. You don't have to do this, though. Now, just so you know the video is in low quality for faster playback times it will be higher quality on the final product okay now that you have your clone video and uh, you got your two people here we're going to open up clone one raw which is the right clone and now we're going to go to mask freehand and we're going to actually draw a freehand mask around your right clone. Click animate and uh oh I messed it up. Not the right clone, I mean the left clone. Gosh. Okay, you're going to draw around the middle. Make sure that this mask does not touch the clone that belongs to the video. Now that we drew it around, going to click, and look, this part became darker. We're now going to go to free, to, back to the freehand mask, and we're going to make the feather all the way up as high as it can go. Now look at that. It's like magic, but this part is still bright and ghostly looking. So we're going to go to Clone Raw 2, which is the left clone, clip mask, freehand, and we're going to draw a freehand mask around the other clone. And click Animate, and then bring the feather all the way up. 
And look at that. We're done. We are completely done. The cloning is already done, and they actually wave at the same time. That's pretty funny. But now, this is the. F that's pretty much it. If you have some light spots or dark spots in the middle, you want to fix the feathering and the in the drawing of the masks and just fix it up a little bit. But that is it. It's really that easy. So. Now that that's done, this is the final product.